has become a major challenge for the Sol Plaikie municipality. The latest being that of the former police, where political activist and Pan-African Congress founder Robert Sobukwe practiced law. It was turned into a heritage site in 2005, but it's gone to wreck and ruin. This is where the late PAC founder Robert Subukwe practiced law in 1971 after serving a nine-year prison sentence for incitement. He was banished to Kimberley under a law called Subukwe Clause, which kept him exiled here. He started his own practice there in 1975. The place should be renovated and be maintained, whereby a 24-7 security is placed at, 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 at the premises. If government fails to do this, they should rather hand over the offices to the PAC because we believe we can do a better job that they have long failed to do. Nearby businesses include a hair salon and a tavern. Regulars are disappointed in what's become of the site. As I see this place, this is a crime and drugs home for our youth. Our youth is vanishing. Everything that is not good is happening inside. You see, and young boys are smoking dark. It's a, let's say it's a parliament of gangsters. The Sol Plaiki municipality says vandalizing important sites in Kimberley has been a problem for a long time. We will at any time uh, go back and restore this place. The only thing is we can't repeatedly be putting in money into a situation where people vandalize these uh, facilities. We also look, need to look at the aspect of educating our people about who Sobukwe is. He's one of the foremost thinkers of the African continent. He played a major role in, in the South African politics. The municipality wants to educate people about the importance of keeping the Sobukwe legacy alive. 2015, 83 police officers across.